Hi everybody, my name is Mike Belanger from AMS 360. In this edition of Zero to 360, we are going to talk about how to create a tool holder from a surface model like I have here in PowerMill. In my last video, I talked about how to create a tool holder from a DXF file or wireframe model. So if that better suits your needs, feel free to check out that video on our YouTube page. So let's get started. One of the most important things that you need to remember about creating a tool holder is that the center of the tool holder that uh, on my screen right now is currently running along the world position X axis needs to be situated along the world position Y axis. So I have a pre-created work plane here already made with the Y direction pointing where it needs to be in relation to the world. And with this work plane active, I am simply going to do a transform and transform it to the world position from this location. Now that we have the tool situated correctly along the world position, I'm going to create my pattern. With the pattern created, jump into the curve editor and from the curves flyout menu, choose planar Sel selection. In the planar selection, there is an option to choose by surface. This will allow you to uh, limit the amount of curves that get created to just the surfaces you have selected. Makes it a bit easier for editing later. Okay, looks like we have everything. I'll go ahead and do a quick preview. You can see the curve driving along everywhere that I need. So I will create. Undraw the surface model and I'm going to delete any bits that I don't need. All right. Sometimes when creating these curves on a surfaced model, you can get an irregular Z height. So what I like to do is just choose the curve and then from my projections, flatten that curve so it is along the Z0 flat plane and then hit accept. The next step is to jump into a simple tool creation. I will create a half inch tool here for example purpose. And from the holder tab in your tool creation, choose the pattern that we just created. And then from the right of this menu, there is a button that says create holder from the selected pattern. When you choose that, it uses this pattern, spins it around the Y axis and orientates it correctly along the tool. It's that simple. Now that you have this tool created, you can simply save it off either into your tool library or into a folder for reuse later. Creating your tool holder using the manufacturer's data will ensure that you get a collision free, reliable tool path so you can send NC code to the machine with confidence. Thank you for watching. Please click the subscribe button or follow our social channels to stay connected. You can also use the direct link to our contact page in this title description.